Here we have a diagram of a rectangle and a diagram of a triangle. And I first of all asked to find an expression for the area of this rectangle. So the area would be the length times breadth. Now the length x plus 8 units and the breadth 2x plus 1. Now we might as well multiply this out using first insides, outside, first outsides, insides, last, first x times 2x is 2x squared, outside 2x times 1, that's x, and inside 2, 8 times 2x is 16x, and the last terms in each of the brackets, 8 times 1 is 8. And of course the outsides and insides combine to x squared. 1x plus 16x is 17x plus 8. So that's an expression for the area of the rectangles in square centimetres. So let's have a look at part B. Given that the area of the rectangle is equal to the area of the triangle, we have to show that this quadratic equation is true. So let's work out the area of triangle. Well, that's a half base times the height. So it's a half of the base is two lots of x plus 5 units, centimetres. That's the base. So it's a half of 2x plus 5 times the height, which is 3x. Now, half of 2 is 1. So we've got one lot of x plus 5, not two lots. We've got half of two lots of x plus 5. We'll have one lot of x plus 5. So that's just x plus 5. And we're multiplying that by 3x. So we can multiply out the brackets there. 3x times x plus 5 doesn't matter which order a multiplication is done in. So 3x times x is 3x squared. 3x times 5 is 15x. So that's the area of the triangle. So we know that the area of the rectangle is equal to the area of the triangle. So therefore, this expression, 2x squared plus 17x plus 8, is equal to this expression, 3x squared plus 15x. Now let's subtract 2x squared from both sides. And that would leave 1x squared on this side with the 2x squared disappearing. Let's subtract 17x from both sides, so that 17x disappears, 15x minus 17x is minus 2x, and let's subtract 8 from both sides, so that 8 disappears, no, just leaves us 0 on the left hand side, and take away 8 from this side, and let's write it the normal way around, x squared minus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0 which was what they were asked, we were asked to show. So let's now look at the last part of this question. It says, hence find algebraically the length and the breadth of that rectangle. In other words, we, if we found x, we could find the lengths and breadths, the length and breadth of the rectangle. So we have to solve Let's put part C down here. We have to solve this quadratic equation. We have to solve x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals 0. Let's see if it factorises. Been an x times an x. Now 8 is 4 times 2. It looks quite promising. And that outside 2 gives me 4x. And that inside 2 gives me 2x. 
And I'm trying to get, remember the outsides and insides combined to give you minus 2x in this case. So by negative 4x plus a 2x would give me a minus 2x. So that must be minus the 4x plus the 2x. So x plus 2 times x minus 4 equals 0. Something times something, 0. One or other of these or both might be 0. Therefore, x plus 2 is 0, or x minus 4 equals 0. And in this case, x would be negative 2, and in this case, x would be 4. Now, let's look at the x minus 2 case. Um... If you put minus 2 in here, 2 lots of minus 2 would be minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3. That would give a negative value for this length. That's not on. Um, not allowed as lengths are positive. So if we used x equals negative 2, we get a negative length or breadth for this rectangle. So let's use x equals 4. And the length of the rectangle is equal to x plus 8, which becomes 4 plus 8, which is 12 centimetres. And the breadth of the rectangle is 2x plus 1, which is 2 times 4 plus 1. 2 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9, so it's 9 centimetres. So we've got a, a 12, a 9 by 12 rectangle. 